So we are backstage at the LA date of the So You Think You Can Dance tour. Yes, How's it going? Are. You guys look cozy. Always. <laughs> you must be excited to dance together again. Yeah, yeah it's always fun dancing her, so. Yeah, we've got a couple of numbers in the show that we do together, so it's, um, yeah. It's going to be fun. So, how obvious question is, how's the tour going so far? We're, we're about more than halfway into it, right? We only Definitely. have nine shows left, including tonight, so, um, it's going well, it's going by fast, um, but it's amazing. A question I've been thinking about is when you do these, a lot of the dances you're doing on the tour you did on the show. Correct. And in this, I've been to that theater, it's pretty small, and also a lot of times you're playing to the cameras and to the judges who are right in the front row. So how do you make those dances translate when you're doing them in these like really big venues? Oh, that's a good question. Um, well, we still have cameras that do close-ups on us, um, so, people can see, yeah. so they can still see what's going on. Um, I think the energy is just a lot different, because yeah. we have upwards of 10,000 people watching us, and their applause um, hypes us up even yeah, more. It makes us dance much bigger. The, the stage and the space is bigger, so that automatically makes you dance bigger, and you want people to see you and get all the details yes. that you're doing. So I dance as big as I can. I don't know yeah, about anyone else. But, definitely. Yeah. Very cool. And. Um, how do you keep the dances fresh? Because before, you did them once on the show, you got your critiques, and then you moved on to your next your next challenge. Mm -hmm. But now you're, you're having to do them over and over, particularly a dance like, I guess, for lack of a better term, the cancer dance. Cancer yeah. dance. Which is kind of a weird thing to call it. I know. I, That's I know. how people know it. Um, I think the opportunity to perform it so many times um, allows us to improve upon it. So um, only having four hours of rehearsal performing it quickly on the television show, we were able to go deep um, with the emotion but now we can go even further so um, and we love the pieces that we do so um, we care about them and, and keep we have to keep them fresh otherwise they wouldn't look as good I think people have an ex expectation of about the dances too they what they saw on the show they want to see on the tour if you right. lose the uh, feel of it or the choreography or the emotion or whatever you put in it at the beginning then they'll be disappointed or upset or that kind of thing so we kind of want to just keep it very I guess original and Fresh. Mm -hmm. Now, I was at the taping last night and I saw that you showed up to watch uh, the season six yes, cast we got to see that. How does it feel like to already sort of be the, the veterans, like watching the, watching the new kids? You know what I mean? It's like you've, oh. you've been through all this yeah. already. It was kind of weird. I mean, it was like going back home, but the set's different, so yeah. it was kind of it was different than new, I expected. Yeah, like that. <laughs> new but the same. Um, but we were able to talk to them and encourage them, and you know, wish them luck and tell them to just have fun. Um, so it's kind of nice being in our shoes. But yeah, I loved it just to relax and watch a show. For yeah, I've never actually been in the audience to watch it, so it's different to do that part. I'm usually backstage, like freaking out. We're going over stuff, makeup, hair, costume. Ah. So it's nice to relax and just watch. Yeah. Have you given them any specific words of advice? I think just to have fun and yeah, enjoy it because you get so wrapped up in the stress and the judging and the voting that, um, you know, sometimes you just forget to enjoy the fact that you're dancing. So. It seems like this season's been like a kind of a cursed season. Like people are getting injured. Yeah. The World Series messed up everything. Stupid World Series. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is athleticism too, doing the dancing. It is. I mean, have you noticed that the season seems to be like filled with like a little bit more like controversy or just problems and stuff? I don't know about problems, but they, they definitely have some hurdles they have to yeah. jump over. Yeah, people getting sick, hurt, that definitely. kind of thing. Definitely, and the schedule is different than what we had, so it's just, it's a different show. It's different every year, but this one is definitely the timing and the change. fall. Yeah. Yeah. One last question. Um, so, what are you going to do after this tour is over? Obviously, there's things you could do. You could, you know, teach. You could be in music videos. You could go on Dancing with the Stars. I guess I don't know. What are your plans? Um, well, I want to move to LA um, just to kind of make it official and work out here, be in the industry, just kind of be in the mix of everything, and literally get, do whatever I can get my hands on. I guess the sky's the limit right now, so I just want to go and be successful. Awesome. And you? I already live here, so I'm excited to see what other opportunities come up. Um, my goal is to just keep dancing as long as I can. So um, in whatever venue, arena, um, style I, I am offered. So I'm excited. Great. Well, I have to let you go, but um, have a great show tonight. I'll be in the audience. Thanks so much. Thank you.